In today's gospel, we hear Jesus once again pointing out the importance of living a good and moral life. And once again, here's Jesus destroying that myth that you sometimes hear people propagating that he was some sort of roaming hippie who didn't really care about sin and morality. In today's gospel, clearly that is the main emphasis. He talks about the fact that not only has he not come to destroy the commandments and the law, he has come to fulfill them. And not only does he say that you will be considered great in heaven if you live out the commandments, and not only does he call us to live the commandments, but he also adds an important caveat and he warns us that we'll be in real trouble if we teach other people to disobey the commandments. This is a really, really important and I think very challenging passage and part of today's gospel. We had an incident in our home a couple of weeks ago where my young son, we were sitting around the dinner table and he just piped up out of nowhere and very innocently uh, used a very offensive swear word. And we were all a bit taken aback by this. And I, my heart actually sunk immediately because... I was pretty sure I knew where he had learnt this word. And so I asked him, I said, son, where did you hear that word? And he looked at me with a sort of sad and puzzled and very surprised sort of look on his face. And he said, dad, I learnt it from you. You used that word. And my heart really sunk in that moment because I, I knew exactly already that I was the one who had taught him that word. Reading today's gospel passage reminded me of that incident because I spent the following couple of days after that, whenever I thought about that moment, with a sense of sadness and a sense of, of taking ownership for what I had done wrong and how my actions had taught my son something that wasn't good. But this isn't just something that applies to us uh, who are parents. It applies to all of us. Our actions and the way we talk about the commandments, the way we live or don't live out the commandments, and the way we share with people about our faith actually has a teaching action. There are lots of people around us. There are people who are not Christians who are inquiring. There are people who are new Christians. There are people who perhaps might have been Christians for, for years, but are just starting out into a deeper journey of understanding about the faith. So what we say and what we do and what we live really matters. And we are actually teaching people by those things. It's one of the reasons why I think very, very carefully about what I say in public, because I do a lot of public speaking to groups on these kind of issues and I'm very very cautious and I have a what I consider a very healthy fear of not wanting to lead people astray by teaching them things that aren't true particularly about God's commandments and what it is to be a follower of Christ I think this is an important and a healthy fear that we should all have and it's always worth I think stopping and asking are we erring on the side of caution when it comes to the way we talk and the way we act and the way we even think about the commandments and about God's moral law? Or are we throwing all caution to the wind and risking ourselves doing the very thing that Jesus warns us about in today's gospel and tells us not to do? And that is teaching other people to disobey the commandments. It's challenging, I know, but profoundly important to ponder. Today's saint quote of the day comes from St. Peter of Alcantara, and he said this, Truly matters in the world are in a bad state, but if you and I begin in earnest to reform ourselves, a really good beginning will have been made. In order to begin this authentic reformation of our hearts and minds, we first need to go back to God's moral law. And the first place we should be starting really is the Ten Commandments. So now that we are almost at the midway point of Lent, and we're only a couple of weeks out from celebrating Easter, this could be a good time at some point in the coming days to spend a quality amount of time just reflecting again on those Ten Commandments and asking God to enlighten our hearts and minds to those areas of our life where there is sin and deficiency that needs repentance and needs His mercy and loving tender care. And then going forward, we need to ask God for the grace to be able to be more faithful to his commands and to his moral law. Because this is at the heart of Christian discipleship. It is this call to follow Christ more faithfully. And as we hear in today's gospel, that calling is also about teaching others to follow Christ more closely as well.